Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, change the mode on this UBE DV W3201B cable modem uh, wireless router that I got from uh, Time Warner. Uh, they gave it to me as a replacement for my original cable modem, and uh, unfortunately they left it in my in in the uh, cable modem wireless router mode. Basically, what happens is that um, let me show you. Let's uh, show you what my original configuration was. My original configuration was, you know, internet, cable modem, my wireless router, off to my computers and my printers. Um, and this worked great up until my modem, which was about, was about eight years old, basically started malfunctioning and rebooting all the time. And so I uh, called Time Warner and Time Warner replaced the modem with this modem right here. But this is not just a, a modem. It's a cable modem with a wireless router built into it. Well, I already have a wireless router that works perfectly and serves out my internet beautifully, uh, as well as does dynamic DNS and so on and so forth. And when I introduce this item into my network, what I end up with is this. I end up with a wireless router modem, cable modem right here, and my wireless router here. Uh, I don't want that. I want this modem just to be a modem. So in order to do that, Luckily, uh, Time Warner has put the uh, instruction on how to how to uh, log into this router as an administrator and change this to uh, a wireless, uh, sorry, um, a bridge uh, device, which basically makes it a modem, and that's it. What it does is it takes the cable signal, turns it into a, a, a usable RJ45 or LAN signal that I can plug into my a router therefore mimicking my original modem as opposed to a modem router and wireless router combination so this video I'll show you how to do exactly that turn this into a, a, a bridge uh, turn it into in put it into bridge mode so it can just be a, an internet cable modem and that's it that your wireless router connects to now if you don't uh, know why you have to do this or you know you don't have this configuration don't do this okay it's not necessary it's only necessary if you want to use your original wireless router and this uh, UBE UB DVW3201B as a modem only so what you're gonna need well the, the one thing you're gonna need for sure is a LAN cable and this can just be a regular patch cable RG45 uh, ends um, LAN cable. That's all I used. And what you're going to do is you're going to plug one end into your computer and the other end into the, one of the uh, Ethernet ports on the back of the modem. And the modem should be uh, un disconnected from everything else other than uh, the internet and uh, your computer or laptop. Okay. And you're going to need a LAN connection to make this happen. So uh, if you don't have one of those in your computer, well, you're going to need one or you're going to need a computer with one. Okay. So First thing you're going to do is connect those cables, one to your modem, one to your uh, uh, computer. Second thing you're going to do is go down here to your network uh, configuration. So right click on your network, open network and sharing center. Then change adapter settings. And you'll see that I have a wireless network connection and a local area connection on my computer. I disabled the wireless connection just to make sure that there's no way that I'm going to do anything to my wireless network or connect to this modem uh, router combo with the wireless connection. So that is disabled. Just right click it. Um, I'm going to enable it here quickly so you can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to right click it again and just choose disable. Okay. Not disconnect. Disable. That means it's off. Okay. Over here, uh, make sure that your local air connection is enabled. Mine is because the only option here is to disable it. Then we're going to go to properties. So, so basically, right click it, choose properties. I see a bunch of stuff here. The only thing that really matters is internet protocol version uh, for TCP IP. Uh, highlight that and then just click on properties again. Make sure it's set to obtain IP address automatically, obtain DNS server automatically. Just hit OK and uh, close on that when you're done. And then you're, we're done with that configuration. Now, um, here's the uh, manual that I found 
on Time Warner's webpage for this router, which shows you how to get into it into a what they call MSO user web interface. And what this allows you is allows you to change it from its default setting of uh, modem router or wireless router configuration to just a bridge uh, device, which is a modem uh, going out to your LAN, which is the way I want to set it. So uh, let's open up Internet Explorer first. And then we're going to type in the default uh, address, which is 192.168.100.1. That's for the, this is going to get us to the web page for the router. Okay, so click on that. Now, here you see that there's a problem with the security uh, certificate. More than likely, it's, it's not a, they haven't paid for a signed uh, certificate. They just generated their own. Don't worry about it. Click on continue to this, this website. Not recommended. Uh, you're, you're logging into the router. There's no security issue. So we'll do that. And there you go. You got the front page of the router. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is log into it. And logging into it is, is pretty cool. You use the last eight characters of the MAC address, which are right there on the web page for you, uh, without the uh, colons in it. So just use these uh, characters. Uh, so you could actually just highlight them, hit copy. We'll do that. And then we're going to click on log in and control V, or you could just right click and, and paste. And then we're going to take those uh, colons out of there. So the last eight characters. And then for a password, and we'll go back to my manual, you'll see that it's the strange configure M38 whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight that, right click it, choose copy, and all letters must be in lowercase. Well, I'm copying it straight from the document, so I'm going to assume that that's going to work. Uh, I may be making a bad assumption, but we'll see here. Um, don't click remember my credentials. You don't want anybody else logging into this. And just, uh, I did a right click, uh, sorry, control V, but you can also just hit paste and put it in there and hit OK. And ta-da, we're into it. Okay, now there's some place on the web page on, on the internet that will tell you that the default username is user user. Well, uh, yeah, that's the default username, but not the uh, administrative password. Uh, what we just did is go in under administrative. Okay, so now click on tools over here. And you'll see a bunch of, um, you know, tools that you don't need to go through. Uh, you know, by, and seriously, don't play with any of this stuff uh, because you can get yourself, you know, locked out of this router. So we don't need that. Okay, so now let's go to uh, operation mode. I should say modem, not router. Because that's what we're turning it into. Now, under operation mode, you'll find these uh, four uh, basic settings or four uh, configurations for this router. And this is the beautiful part here. Bridge mode, right? Bridges entire device. No routing, no NAT, no DHCP, no firewall. Basically, it becomes a modem only. And that's what, we're, what I want to set it to. So I'm going to do that. Click enable. Click apply. And when you do that, the router reboots itself, or the modem reboots itself at this point, because that's all it is. It's a, it's a bridged modem. Uh, the router's been turned right off. Now, I've tested this, and this uh, modem actually uh, runs my telephone as well, and this does not affect that operation at all. So this is a safe configuration to assume if you want to get to this configuration, which is my wireless router hooked up to a cable modem onto the Internet. That's all I wanted to do, and um, I'm waiting for the lights here to stop flashing. See, I click reload, see what happens, and we're back. Now, if that's if you want to, you know, reverse this procedure, it's not a problem. Just log in, log in again. Uh, it's remembered my username there, and I, I'm going to right-click and paste my password from the manual, and I will point a post a link to the manual. Um, on uh, the, the, the Time Warner site so you can see this procedure as well written out. Okay, uh, of course, I don't want to remember those. And let's go back to my 
manual, and there it is. Control C. Control V. Okay. Uh, well, it's giving me a problem. Basically, at this point, um, oh, yes. Uh, there we go. It's, it basically, it took a little while for it to connect. Now, if you want to revert it back to a, a normal uh, modem operation, go over here to operation mode. You see how, many, how much less there is up here and how many less uh, settings there is here. You can hit the factory default if you want, or you can just go to operation mode and choose enable this and hit apply. Okay. Once you do that, it's back to its wireless setting. So, um, as I said, if you want to set the bridge mode, that's how you do it. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, you need to set your network card, uh, your wireless network card back. So right click uh, your network icon down here. Open Network and Sharing Center. Go to Change Adapter Settings and click back on Enable. And that will turn your wireless card back on and it should automatically connect back onto your regular router. Um, and just click that off. Okay, so that's how you set your uh, UBE uh, router, the uh, DW, sorry, DVW3201B uh, router into a client, uh, sorry, into a bridge mode and uh, with no routing, no NAT, no DHCP, no firewall, basically turn it back into just a cable modem and uh, which enables you to connect your router to it. So I hope this uh, was clear and I hope it helped you out. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day.